Hello everyone, today I will show you how to assemble my newest glasses. I've made them onyx. This time I've tried more formal design, which uses primarily black color. I was supposed to use gold filament for accent pieces, but I'm short on time as I'm flying to Spain soon. I'll start by placing the ribbon cable inside the printed case. It's been folded way before, so it will be a bit easier. I've had to buy this cable separately from display as it's not the standard one. You can easily find it on AliExpress or your local electronics store. Putting the cable inside the frame may take you some time as it's very tight fit and cable itself is really fragile. Just remember to be patient and delicate and you will be fine. Now it's time to put the main electronics board inside the frame. I've redesigned the whole frame so the PCB cover is on the inside rather than outside. Make sure to put the ribbon cable through hole before inserting the PCB. And now connect the cable to the electronics. Once again, take your time, don't rush it. After that, put the bot in its slot and you're done. Board has to go diagonally inside the case so that the connector will fit properly. With ribbon cable and PCB in place, you can now install the display and optics assembly. First, connect the ribbon cable to the micro display. Be gentle, as you can easily snap off the connector lead. Now you can push the display into the plastic frame. If you have trouble putting it inside, stop what you're doing and check the frame for any plastic debris. It should be tight, but at the same time it should go inside smoothly. And now you can install the optics assembly. This part is a bit tricky since the optics go into the frame at a certain angle. Be careful not to break the combiner holders. It should only slightly protrude from the frame when installed correctly. This small reflective square is called combiner. It's basically a two-way mirror which reflects the image displayed as well as lets you see things in front of you. The combiner is meant to be placed on the two small arms near the lens. You have to push it slightly in order for it to get under the optics assembly. When it's correctly placed, you can use soldering iron or glue to secure it in place. Remember to be extra careful not to damage the combiner.
If done correctly, you should see the optical assembly reflection on the combiner. I've ordered custom laser cut lenses especially for this project. You could use regular sunglasses lenses, but you'd have to basically redesign whole frame. I recommend that you remove the inner protective film before mounting the lenses. This way you won't have any trouble later on. I will carefully secure both lenses with soldering iron. You could use glue, but there is a high chance that you'll have some nasty glue residue on the lenses. I melt the plastic only slightly, so it won't be visible later on. The second lens is meant to be installed the same way as the first one. Now you can attach the plastic cover which will hide the PCB. You should attach it with the thicker wall facing down. After placing it in correct spot you can use either soldering iron or glue to secure it in place. This small plastic hat goes on top of the micro display. I'll secure it in place with soldering iron as well.
I've separated the arms into two pieces since those will use two different colors. The small cap is meant to simply slide onto the bigger piece. It's designed so that there's enough friction for it not to fall off. Right arm is assembled in the same way. I will use two corkboard pins to attach the arms. Those are about 1mm in diameter. The idea is to slide the arm onto the frame and put the pin through both pieces creating a hinge. It might be a bit tough since the hole is really small. You can push the pin into arm and try enlarging the hole. It might take more than one try, so be patient. As you can see, it went through this time. You can flap the arm around so it will work smoother. The right arm attaches the same way as the left one. For some reason, this time it's way tougher for me to push the pin inside. I will cut off some plastic with my exacto knife. I'll try pushing it inside once more. Additionally, you can use blowtorch to heat up the end of the pin. It should go inside with this when hot. Now leave it for some time so it will cool down. Now you should be able to install it without an issue. If you still have some trouble, then you can try cutting off some more plastic on the hinge side. Now it's impossible that it won't go inside. Now you should clip the pointy ends with clippers. It's not perfect since my clippers are really bad. Now you can remove the protective film from the lenses. You can see the difference right away, it's really clear now.
And now you can attach the original cable to see how it's working. I've soldered the cable to my Raspberry Pi Zero to check if everything works. Glasses are designed to work with any video source so you can use anything you want. I've powered the Raspberry Pi with USB cable and waited a while for it to boot. It's extremely hard to capture it with my phone, but you can see the Raspberry OS on the combiner. It's a bit blurry and colors are a bit weird, but that's the camera's fault. When viewed in person, image is crisp and text is easily readable. And that's how you assemble the Onyx glasses. As always, huge thanks to my Patreons. Without you, this project wouldn't be possible.